Welcome, welcome. You are welcome to the moment of truth. Good afternoon from here. Good evening, good morning from wherever you are watching me. How are you doing today? Trust you are doing very fine. We thank God for the gift of life. Apostle Femi, you're welcome. Omoba, welcome. Thank you. Please help me share this as you're joining me. Kindly share. Imake, thank you. Tell me, tell them to join you. You are welcome to like, uh, to like and uh, share. Please, as you are joining, don't forget to press the like button. And also on uh, on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitter. Please press the like button and share, please share. Help me share. One second, please. Sorry about that. Omoka Arojire, welcome. Bosse Imaru, God bless you. Please share. Share so that uh, we'll start on time. I need a specific number before I start. So please share and welcome others. Let me greet everyone. Happy new month. <laughs> this month shall favor us in Jesus' name. Yes. We shall prosper spiritually, physically, socially, mentally, in all aspects of our lives, in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord shall accomplish it. Thank you. So before we go ahead, let us sing. I'm doing something different today. Give me, a suggest give me suggestions of the song you would like me to sing. If you are watching me, listening now, type what song do you want me to sing today? To praise God, to worship God. I'm waiting. GRC, welcome. Happy new month. This is the first time I'm seeing GRC commenting. Are you new on the platform? We welcome you. I need suggestions or songs. I want to do a shagunlo. Ah, I can't sing all the verses, so <laughs> I only know the chorus. <laughs> How great thou art, okay? That's nice. I can sing that with all the stanzas. He arose. Okay, let's sing he arose. This is Easter period. We are still in the mood of Easter. Yes, I'll sing that one. So join me as we sing. No, in the grave he lay. Mm. The Lord is risen today. Okay. Thank you, Father, for sending your son to this sinful world to die for our sins. Thank you for the death and the resurrection of Christ. Thank you for giving your life unto us. While we were yet seen as Christ died for us. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the King of glory. Lives forevermore. Hallelujah. All from the grave he arose. 
Lord, in the grave he lay, Jesus, my Savior. Jesus, my Lord, up from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph of his foes, he arose the victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign, he arose, he arose, Hallelujah, Christ arose. Up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph of his foes. He arose the victor from the dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose. Hallelujah, Christ arose. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because we know he owns the future and life is worth a living just because he lives. Join me, everybody. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, and life is worth believing just. Because he lives, so I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling. To the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last. I lay down, I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a Amen. The old cross makes the difference. Hallelujah. Thank you all once again for joining me on the program today. And uh, <clears throat> I want to also say a big thank you for those who have joined in the struggle against oppression in our churches. Yes, against oppression going on on various pulpits, especially African churches. And uh, most importantly, I want to thank everybody that's been praying for Richard, 
one of our own, our brother, also going through persecution from the church now. Can you imagine what an irony? Persecution from within the church. In fact, coming straight from the altar, from the pulpits. And that pulpit is, of course, Mountain of Our Miracles Ministries. Last week I came here and uh, I told you, I think in the last two videos I've done now, the origin of Richard's trouble. You know, a lot of people say, ah, I said, why is, is it only Richard that left, MF, that left MFM? Why is he only the one they're arresting? He's always getting into trouble. Why can't he also lie low? Why can't he do this? And I see that you people didn't know the genesis of your story. <laughs> so last week, I told you what happened. I'll say it again today. I'll paraphrase the whole thing again today because Richard is still in prison. Today makes it the 16th day. Richard has been in Ikoji prison. Imagine. I thought he was in police cell detention. Not until last week. I didn't know Richard was in prison. And when I when I got to know that I was in prison, that thing struck a chord in me. I can't explain it. And I keep telling you, see, think you look at it, it's not just starting today. According to what I've been hearing now, if I had something during this week that, that got me, how would, how would I describe it? It's so unfortunate. I heard something about someone that Dick Olukoya had used police to arrest in the past. Today, that person is nowhere to be found. And Dick Olukoya, you see all that you have done in Christendom? The Lord will judge you himself. We leave you into the hands of God. As of today, you know why they say they delete somebody? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, Rami, Rami, nowhere about. Nobody knows what happened to him. And he was arrested. Dike Olukoya, this same Dike Olukoya used police to arrest that person. That person disappeared just like that. You know when they say somebody disappears? It is well. So, and I keep wondering, if we are doing a program, especially what we've been doing since the end of January, talking about Dike Olukoya and MFN, if we have been talking about him, and then he can still do this thing, these things for the whole world to see, then imagine what that man had done in the past when nobody was talking about him. Before the era of social media, I just wanted to picture it. In fact, it's unimaginable. I've heard things that, in, my, in fact, I have to block, to block my brain from, because those things are depressing. They are depressing. I just have to block my brain so that it won't affect me. You know what I'm doing? I have to be emotionally stable as well. So, and I thank God he has been my strength. The job of the Lord has been my strength. So, I picture when you will be no more. And the kind of revelations that will be coming after you might have gone. The whole world will be shocked. Because victims can't even speak out now. You see, as of today, Okay, some bloggers this past week, I see that some bloggers have been posting some things about uh, Richard. And I want to thank them very well. God will bless you all in Jesus' name. But you see, as of today, I think I'm the only person from MFM that attended MFM before, and I'm talking about Ulukoya. You see, those who were in that church or that are still there, that's not the way this man operates. They can't even come out and speak. Not even the victims. Civil sexual victims. Dick Olukoya has turned himself into a terror in the house of God. You see, even me that I'm speaking, it's just by the grace of God. It's not by power, not by might. And I still say it, say, say it again. Olukoya, when you are no more, the kind of revelations that will come about you will shock the world. Ah! As you think of it, that you carry the Bible. You preach. Think you look at you still have a Bible to your name. What sacrilege? Oluwa Kusuru. 
I mean, if he can do this to Richard, in the eyes of everybody in this area of social media, I just want to please, lovers of truth, people of God that are listening to me. If he can do this when people are talking about him, can you imagine what this man has done in the past, especially before the advent of social media? Can you just pause and imagine? A supposed man of God, a supposed pastor. Come and show. A majority of people that went into MFM, they went to that church looking for solutions to their problems. They went to that church to pray, thinking that that place is a place of refuge. But alas, they met their doom. The church is marching on and the gate of hell shall never prevail against it in Jesus' name. Anyway, back to, yeah, holy Moses, no hands drawn in hands. No, the wicked will never go unpunished. I believe strongly in that because the scriptures can never be broken. And I keep saying it. If Richard did not go live, that day police came to his house to bundle him away. Only God knows what will have happened. It is well. So let's just go over... I'll tell you where we are now. And for those who are still joining us, because in the past, at least since we started this Richard something, I've had more people joining me. I see I have new followers, subscribing, a lot of people messaging me. Many people are asking questions because they are just listening to me for the first time. Especially some MFA members, that they are shocked about the things I'm saying. And they've been asking questions. I'm sorry if I've not been responding to you. You can't imagine how many messages I get in my inbox every day. I know I have three inboxes on Facebook. I have inbox for Funke Asheko. I have in, uh, messenger for Moment of Truth. I have messenger for Let's Talk Marriage with Funke. And I get messages on these three platforms. So it's not possible for me to reply everybody all the time, considering my busy schedule as well. So just pardon me. But I've gone through, especially from new members, and I will just give you a summary of what is happening, where we are now, okay? There's this guy called Ayotunde Richard. He was a backup singer in Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry. I mean, he was a lead singer, backup singer for DK Olukoya himself. I mean, before Olukoya preached those days, Richard would be the one that would lead a group of maybe about six, six boys, six uh, brothers, guys that sing to usher him into the message. So he was quite close to the pulpit. Nikki Olukoya used to take him outside Nigeria to minister, minister as well. But that he left. Richard left about two years ago. He left MFM because of some things that he saw and that he heard, okay? And uh, when he left, he left quietly. He didn't make any trouble. He just let he just stopped coming and uh, of course look why we ask after him being the lead singer said asking me i ah, was going to come back come back come back to the church and when the pressure was much his colleagues in the choir praise band they were pressurizing him and he couldn't talk to them okay he couldn't tell them the reason why he left but when the pressure was too much he had to message tiki Olukoya on whatsapp and in that message, he forwarded videos of a particular lady that claimed that Ulukoya was sexually 
molesting her in his office, in his counseling room. Richard forwarded the videos to Diki Olukoya and then sent him a message that said, because of this, I can no longer call you my father in the Lord. I can't come back to MFM church. That day, I told you, J.K. Olukoya was pressuring him to come back. But that day when Richard forwarded that message, J.K. Olukoya became very angry and he blocked Richard on WhatsApp. And that same week, ministers, especially Richard's colleague in the praise band, they were raised up to start lying against Richard. I mean, the way courtes will behave, <laughs> you know, when you sign into a court, you cannot, it's for life. You can't send any resignation letter. You can't say you want to leave. And when, if you try to leave, they will deal with you brutally. And the same thing is going on in MFM church. And I'm saying that without any apology. Richard has been dealt with brutally since he left MFM church. The race the, he's been framed up severally, not once, severally with allegations. Allegations enough to put him in critically maximum prison. I mean, when you say somebody went with his gang, I mean, that Richard has a gang and those gangs went with dangerous weapons to attack a minor, to attack somebody's child. Opayemi Emmanuel, one of the evil tools that Olukoya is using to perpetrate his, perpetrate his wickedness. That girl came, I mean, she told the whole world, she will post it online, that she's the one that put Richard in, a, in the cell because he wanted to attack her only child, which is a lie. Where is the gang? Where are the dangerous weapons? I mean, in Nigeria, when you accuse somebody of doing those things, I mean, that's a prison straight. You see what MFM is doing? <laughs> You see what Olukoya is doing? And you call that place a church? To me, MFM is not a church. MFM is being operated like a court. Olukoya is operating MFM like a court. And I, I can say it, Olukoya, I've told you several times that I'm waiting for your lawsuit. If you like, come and use your pastors here. This time, I don't do six places where, use 12, double it, to take me to court. You'll be shocked. Because, that, is that not how they run courts? That's how courts are being run now. False propaganda, they will raise people up. They may even accuse you of rape. They may set you up with women just to make sure they, 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 they torture life out of you until you go back to that court. That's how courts is operating. And the same thing is going on in MFM church. Think you look like a shame on you. What a deception. And you are the same person that display, I mean, portray yourself like a humble, holy man of God, not into women, not into the things of this world, no flamboyant lives. You see the things you used to deceive the whole world. And yes, of all the men of God that I've ever come across in my life, I've never seen anyone like you. There is no trait in you that shows that you are a man of God. That you are even a Christian. I see man of God aside. How can somebody leave your church and then you start framing him up with different criminal allegations that are false just to put that person in prison because that person, he or she left your church. Did you look at you see what you are doing? I told you when you are no more, the things that will come out, the way these things will start coming out and speak, it will shock the world. I just pray a lot of people won't throw their Bibles away at that, as at that time because as of today, people even respect you more than the, the popular men of God that we know. Because in your church, you don't wear jewelry. You pretend as if you are very holy in your church. So people, and you don't live flamboyant. You do, today, the Kyoto has never used road in a jeep. I don't know if maybe, but he doesn't have a jeep. Just boss. So because of that, he has endeared himself into the hearts. He won the heart of a lot of people. And then seeing that he has PhD, I mean, with somebody having a PhD degree, your mind will be at rest that you are in a safe place. I mean, this one is educated. But see what is happening. Just what? Do you see what is happening? He's almost the most respected. Maybe after Pastor Kumuyi. 
No private jet, no extravagant life. Want his way into the heart of everybody. Only this way, and you'll be giving us serious. Right now, I want to believe all those stories you've been saying about yourself. They are just fake. 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 Lies. Lies upon since the last woman that I've been talking about, do you know how many lies you told? Take a look here. You started with public, publishing false reports about the court, the court judgment. And you call yourself a man of God. Because how can you call MFM a church with the way they are behaving? I can never, this are not a, what is a church? This is being run like a court. Eh? Like I will take me to court. I will bring evidences out. It's only courts that be like this. This is religious terrorism, nothing else. Do you know how many times police have arrested Richard since he left MFM in the last two years? And it's because we are talking about Richard. How many people are going through this are going through similar things that we don't even know of across the world? What about the ones he had dealt with? Before the era of social media, if a local can be doing this in the era of social media, more especially when some people are talking about him online, if he could still, still do this, then imagine what he was doing when the whole world was silent about his atrocities, about his wickedness. What a tragedy. Anyway, Richard has been going in and out of police stations. He's been detained before for, I think, like nine days. Before this current one, this current one, listen to what happened. Police came to his house, wanted to bundle him away, but thank God his door was locked. They threatened me that they would break down the door and he had to go live. So he recorded everything. That day they couldn't take him to the station. So his lawyer called them, called the Keja command, and then they were told that a petition has been written against Richard that he needs to visit them at the police command headquarters in Ikeja. His lawyer took him there the following day. When they got there, they showed them the petition that has been written against Richard. Listen, a petition was written against Richard by D.K. Olukoya's personal lawyer, his lawyer, a member of the MFM too, by name David C. Juwon. And in that petition, Richard was accused of sponsoring Adewale Ajimi Sogbe, an upcoming journalist or blogger from Okitikupa in Ondo State. He's a 23-year-old boy who wrote an article about Ulukoya. He, re he reshared or he reposted something he saw in Sahara, the, the Sahara reporters. An article about the Kiluka, but changed the title. His own title now put there that the Kiluka is a criminal, he's the one behind all illegal acts in MFM church. And that was his offense. They claimed that that article was defamatory and that that guy was sponsored by Richard Ayotunde. Richard, I didn't know that guy from other. In fact, Richard didn't know anything about that blog at all. When Richard got to the cell, to the station that day, they called that guy. They brought him out from cell. He has been detained since the 1st of March. They brought him out and asked him to identify Richard. And he told everybody that I didn't know Richard. I couldn't identify. I didn't know who Richard was. And he told them that he has nothing to do with Richard. He wasn't sponsored by anybody. He did it because he wanted to, he felt that story about the Kuluka. We attract, we attract traffic to his page because he just started, he's an upcoming blogger. Let's put it that way. He's a 23-year-old boy. In spite of that fact, that that boy exonerated Richard. Because that boy wasn't the target. The target was Richard. Richard is still being punished, persecuted, tortured, because he left MFM church. You see, in spite of that, they still detained Richard, and he spent about 11 days inside cell there in police headquarters in Keja. Inside bench box, very... Very, very miserable country. You all know how cells can be in Nigeria. You know how prisons can be. Now, when he was there, his lawyer fought seriously for his release. At least for him to be built. Even if you're accusing him of defamation, 
The normal thing is to charge him to court. In fact, of the fact that that guy said Richard is innocent, they still kept Richard without ball in the cell. The lawyer fought. Thank God he was able to get a judgment in the court of law, in, a, in an high court in Ikeja. And the judge ruled that Richard should be released with immediate effect. Yet they flaunted that order. Nobody obeyed that judge's order till today. Rather, the following Monday, when the wife went to the cell to give Richard food, she was told that her husband has been moved to Federal High Court in Nikoyi. Even Richard's lawyer wasn't contacted. Nobody knew. You see how they operate? And they keep saying they are getting instructions from Abuja. That's what the police kept saying. They all knew what they were doing to Richard is wrong. But they kept saying the instruction is from Abuja and they don't want to lose their jobs. Anyway, Richard was transferred to Federal High Court, Ikoyi. And from that high court, that same day after the judge postponed the hearing till the 15th of April, the next hearing is the 15th of April. Since that day, that Monday, today makes it the 16th day, Richard has been in prison, Ikoyi prison. Not police and not detention. No. Inside prison, go, 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 with LM ones, with criminals, with prisoners. Richard and that guy, Ajimi Sogbe, they've been in Ikoyi prison since 18th of March, I guess. Anyway, today makes it 16th day. They've been there. Their bail was rejected. I mean, this is a civil lawsuit. In spite of the fact that Richard knows nothing about that publication, and the writer of that article himself confirmed it, he was seeing Richard for the first time. In fact, they wrote in that petition that that guy, Ajimi Sogbe, is Richard's uncle. You see what is going on in MFM Church? Those are the things Olukoya personal uh, lawyer wrote against Richard. And you tell me MFM is a church. I pity all the Olukoya's followers and those who are still in this church. With all this revelation, you are just deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself. You think this kind of man behind all this wickedness is the one that will con connect you to God? Then you must be jokers. You must be jokers. Because all these things attract God's judgment already. If there's anything Olukoya can bring into your life, it is God's judgment because all these things are wickedness that will attract judgment from God. So if you're under that anointing, imagine what you are partaking of. Because that's what the Bible tells me. Call yourself a man of God, you are into all this wickedness. Last week, I read here a, a WhatsApp chat between Olukoya and Richard. All these things are Richard's wala. Those are his offenses, though. Olukoya said Richard's wife should come for corridor uh, prayers. And the guy said no. The wife even said no for reasons best known to them. And Olukoya, when is it? How is it that you have to force somebody? To come and do corridor prayers in your church, in your council, why? Is it by force? Or is there something going on during that corridor prayer that you are not telling the world yet? Because I don't know how, I don't want my wife to come for your corridor prayers can be attract all this uh, torture and persecution. Is it by force? Put your wife there now. Oh, look at Say you want to pray and do call, do it for your wife now. This guy said, I cannot allow my wife to come. If he's not releasing your wife, then put your wife, let your wife go through the call. She be his prayer. Is prayer too much? Why don't you put your wife there instead? Start praying for her. Prayer is good. Prayer is good. If you mean well, if truly you are doing prayer and your conscience tells you it's his prayer, you are doing the corridor, prayer meeting or whatever, or deliverance that you call it. Then put your wife there. Who doesn't want to? Which husband will not want to pray for his own wife? My husband prays for me. He prays over my head all the time. He gives him joy. So why don't you do it for him? Why must you do it for him? Somebody else's wife. Let Richard pray for his wife now. He's a pastor over his wife. Why must it be you? And because of that, you are torturing that family. Because they don't have money. You see the way you've been dealing with Richard? Eh? 
How can you put a whole family man that is not a criminal, a graduate, a lover of God, a servant of the, a minister of the gospel, a singer? How can you put him in prison with criminals, with thieves and robbers? Oh, look, and you see, climb that altar, you mount your pulpit and you preach, and you think God does not see you. And you sleep in your house. Richard spent his birthday, the Easter something celebration, right there inside prison with hardened criminals. And you want to tell me MFM is a church? Then you don't know the definition definition of a church. Or you want to tell me Olukoya is a man of God? Then you don't know what a man of God is. Who a man of God is? You don't know the attributes of a man of God. That's Richard's offense. You see, because he left that church and he told Olukoya, based on the videos of sexual assaults that he saw happening in Olukoya's counseling room, it was that same week. Because to me, that was what triggered all this, all this arrest, all these persecutions, all this torture, all this terror being unleashed on Richard. Because it was that day that Olukoya blocked him on his line. And that same week, the first person he raised was Okoyemi Mane. Mommy, I really like you. Yegbe. Okoyemi, come here. God will judge you. You see all that you are doing? You think God is not watching you? If I see that joy by my day, Wasaka Bakapa. You see what we're doing to God's children? You did say, Mokwe, you brought out, they gave you a microphone. You brought out a Bible and you were causing my enemy to die. That my enemy will be inside her pool of blood, just like Jezebel. Imagine. And you call MFM a church. Have you ever seen a church doing that? When all about Jesus, about the gospel, is love, forgiveness, peace, joy. Have you ever seen a church where they will bring out a Bible with microphone, a leader in that church, I will start cursing somebody to die in our own pool of blood. Somebody that has not offended her. Okay, I, mean, I want you to come out and tell the world my offense. What did I do to you? When you start telling all those rubbish, you were lying. You said I came to you, but I was cursing you. You see, you are, you are just like your father, Dick Olukwaya. Liars from the pit of hell. You are Dick Olukwaya. You are all liars from the pit of hell. And all the people Dick Olukwaya has been using to torture Richard. All of you are liars from the pit of hell. And God will judge you all in the name of Jesus. For going after the innocent, for going after God's children, just because you have money, you have the connection, and all you people like Okwe Yemi Mane, Daddy Kyolukwa has been using, he promoted you after you cursed me online, he promoted your husband, all those things he did, you're enjoying, you think that is all that is to life? Have you forgotten that it's only the blessings of the Lord that make us rich and added to sorrow? Okwe Yemi, Dick Yolukwa has gift can never make you rich. He can never give you peace of mind. No way. Except the scripture is not correct. And the scripture is true. The word of God is true. Can never be broken. Don't even an S pass. Not one jot of God's word will go unfulfilled. As of today, the lawsuit is only still going between Okwa Yemi Imane and Richard. As of today, there's another one between Nigerian police and Richard Ayotte. You see, that guy, Ajimi Sogbe, that Monday they were moved to Ikoyi Federal High Court. The Nigerian police now came with a new lawsuit against Richard and that guy, Ajimi Sogbe. They put the two of them in a lawsuit and said they defamed Tiki Olukoya. You see the wickedness going on in MFM Church. For all those of you that have been coming to my boss, even members are asking me questions. I'm telling you, if Tiki Olukoya has contrary thing, any contrary opinion to what I'm saying now, let him come out and tell the world with evidence. And I too will come out with my own evidence. I'm telling you the gospel truth. This platform is called Moment of Truth. We speak the truth here. And that is what this platform is about. To go against oppression, going on against humanity, especially in the house of God. This oppression going on in MFM church, is, I won't even call you a church. This oppression going on in MFM court is top notch. And the government needs to look into the activities of Dick Olukoya. Dick Olukoya is not a man of God. I keep saying it. No, these are not attributes of men of God. When we see men of God, we know them. By their fruits, you shall know them. 
You want to tell me a man that is framing somebody up because he left your church is a man of God? You want to tell me a man that a lady is framing to sexually assault her inside this cabinet study room? Not one, so not that he fell into temptation, though. Something that is consistent, consistent. And the girl is crying out. You want to tell me that one is a man of God? No way. And I say it again for the world to get. Daniel Kola Wale Olukoya is not a man of God. He's just deceiving the world. He's one of the biggest religious scam that has ever happened to Christianity in Africa. There has been press conference to release Richard Ayotunde. There has been protests by human rights organizations, by even women, to release Richard Ayo today. And this man has turned deaf here. You think, and you call him a man of God? If you say it's police that put him inside that prison, who the people, who, who, who is the person the police is fighting for? The other thing is about the Kyo Dukoya. How come the Nigerian police know, how, how, how do they know Richard Ayo today? How come they know what is going on in MFM church? And is church related to a law enforcement organization? If not, that somebody gave them the job to do. And this is not the first time. Dick Olukoya, I've had instances where you gave these dirty jobs to police officers to do in Nigeria for you. You see, you are using police to terrorize innocent members. Members that have problems, they have own problems on them, and they came to your church thinking you're a man of God to pray. You see how you are compounding their problems? Members join your church from your church, they land inside cell, inside prison. Members come to your church to pray from your church, they land in psychiatric hospital, like Sunday Bahura, that you dealt with brutally using a Yone Gita Woshe, that corrupt police officer in Alagbon, tortured this brother for 18 days until he landed in psychiatric hospital. Has health problems, a lot of things. How can people walk into your church and they end up in this? Terrible places. If truly you are running a church and not a cult. DK, come and tell us how MFM looks like the church of the New Testament. Olukoya, come and tell the world how MFM is being run like the church of Christ, like the ones we read in the New Testament. Olukoya, come and tell us how your leaders, your members, are portraying the, the attributes of Christians that made people to call Christians the first Christians. They call them little Christ in Antioch. Come and tell us how somebody like Okwe Yemi Emmanuel is displaying the character of Christ, how she can be called a little Christ. If anyone wants to, wants to appraise Okwe Yemi Emmanuel, to me, I will say she's a witch. Because it's only witches that want people to die. Yes, I can never call up by any man a Christian. So look here, come and tell us how come your members are displaying all these attributes? How do you, how do you want us to call your members Christians? Because Yemi Emmanuel represents your church. She represents you. You've been using her. She's been doing things on behalf of you and that church. So appraising Okwe Yemi Emmanuel, what is in her? that resembles Christ in all this. Is it the framing of, of a fellow uh, president, our former colleague in the church? Is it her framing him up with serious allegations of theft, of uh, wanting to attack, to kill somebody with, uh, with a dangerous weapon? Is it that one you will call an attribute of a Christian? Please, tell us. Tell us you want to know. You see why I say your church is being run like a cult? And you look at you are not running that church like a pastor. You are running that church like a terrorist. A religious terrorist. Church terrorist. That's who you are. You are terrorizing members. Terrorizing ex-members. And one day, you look at your, your cup will be full. You see all these things you do? I don't... I don't know what you tell yourself. What lies you tell yourself when you sit down in your closet? What lies do you tell yourself that gives you... I know, anyway, I know you don't have peace of mind. I doubt if you sleep at night. You thought this wickedness? 
How about the people that have disappeared? At least I heard somebody this week that has disappeared. Where is he? Dike Olukoya. Where is that brother? You know who I'm talking about? Maybe there are even more than one. That you ask, ask police to, to arrest. And to today is nowhere to be found. Where is he? Dike Olukoya. Where is that brother? Posterity will judge you. No wonder one man of God came online a couple of years back and was telling somebody on the phone call that will make you disappear. That's not deceiver. I says it's, it's happening, no? It is happening. I mean, as of today, some Nigerian pastors are making people disappear. Ah, what a treasure, JG. Nigerian pastors, some of them are causing members to disappear. We don't know where they are disappearing to. At least you heard somebody coming online and telling somebody on that for a, a girl, one of their men of God in Nigeria, that it will make somebody disappear. He didn't just say it, oh, it is happening. Me, I've had somebody that Tikoluko had dealt with and he has disappeared. They don't know his whereabouts. Tikoluko, I'm waiting for your lawsuit, too. you see? I'm waiting for that lawsuit. I told you, you will be shocked. Not only you, your lawyers, they will be shocked. And the whole world will be shocked. Ah! To think that this man is stand a holiness preacher. Nigeria is down. Nigeria? Especially Nigeria church is in trouble. See, Nigerians live in Nigeria. The church in Nigeria has been hijacked by criminals. By terrorists that call themselves men of God on the altar. Nigeria church is in serious trouble. You better cry unto the Lord. You think it's by causing me easy? Coming to my inbox to abuse me to cause me. Is your solution? That's not the solution. You better cry unto God. Or else even your children will be enslaved. And tormented forevermore. Even your children. Or you don't know these leaders, they reproduce themselves. <laughs> hey. Ha. What concerns a man of God with the police? Not American police. So if it's American police, I'll be. I'll be but with Nigerian police, with all the testimonies about Nigerian police, what is, the, what is the relationship between a man of God and the Nigerian police? Wow. So a man of God wants to interact with members, to deal with members, and he's using Nigeria. He's not using elders in the church to correct. He has to go to Nigerian police with all that we know that Nigerian police can do. And then MFM members, you tell me you are in a church. You should be ashamed of yourselves. MFM pastors, I say it openly. I'm waiting for your last lawsuit. So you should be ashamed of your pastor, of T.K. Olukwa, Danekola Oluka. You should be ashamed to call him your pastor or to call him your daddy Gio. And we thought been daddy Gio. With all this, is it that you are bewitched or you are like him? You see nothing wrong in what Daniel Olukoya is doing to members, to ex-members. You see nothing wrong. You keep telling me, some of you tell me, I'm on here on a vandata. Which vandata? You think I'm here on a revenge? So what I'm doing now is revenge. What is happening to Richard Ayo uh, today? Does it concern you? Does it move you as a Christian? You say I'm here on a witch revenge. The Lord has justified me and vindicated my family. He delivered me, my family, from that dungeon. He should have kept quiet. If I'm on Vendata, immediately I left, I would have started talking. No. And God sees my heart. And that's what concerns. I've been in churches where they've said a lot of lies against me. But what matters is what God thinks of me. But you see, in this face of wickedness, how will not keep quiet? The zeal of the house of the Lord has cons consumed me. It's like fire burning in my bones.
And people like Okwe Yemi Emmanuel are in the church. They sing, they preach, they pray. Calling herself Mommy Aru. Okwe Yemi Emmanuel, you with all this wickedness that you are doing for your father in the law, with all these lies, you can call yourself Mommy Aru. I heard your husband is the Aru religion of Asa, in Mowe region. That region is in trouble. If Mommy Aru Elekwe can be their Mommy Aru, their Mommy in Israel, you that is causing somebody to die with the Bible. You that you are causing somebody. If you, in fact, that Mowe region is in serious, serious trouble. They don't know what they are into. They don't know what they are signed for. I deal with you, Apostle Lufe, it will shock the world. In fact, they've not seen anything. She may say to be Joshua's own, they are saying. By the time Olukoya soon comes out, you know, and my fear is the a number of people doubt will be disappointed in Christianity. You see what this man has caused? That's just my major concern. Because people so much trusted this man. Ah! My show. They have so much faith in him. Deception of the highest order. Deception. He just came to deceive the whole world. That I call that what you look at. You came to the pulpit to Christendom to deceive the whole world. You are an embodiment of deception. Embodiment of lies. You are a scam to Christendom. For you to even write a Bible, I've never seen a scam. To me, you are the biggest scam in Christianity history in Nigeria. The biggest scam. I'm not saying you are a scam out. You represent you yourself, an embodiment of scam. And I'll prove it in the court of law. I'm waiting for all of you. I'm waiting for all of you. Guess who gay? Eh, Kule Ladipo. Adekola, Adekola, Adekuna, what is your name? I'm sure you are proud of Dike Olukwa with all this, because you took me to the court that I'm talking about your guy. No wonder you took me to court that I was talking about your pastor, but I never mentioned his name. That means you know who your pastor is. That was why you were suspecting me. When I wasn't even talking, just talking about pharaohs, you see, you wanted me to stop. If you see how these people and their lawyers were begging the judge that they didn't need my money, oh. they don't want anything, they just want the judge to give that to rule that I should never speak again on my on moment of truth. Imagine. No wonder, Grace, okay, you wanted to shut me up. So did you know your pastor was doing the things I was saying? Was he also guilty of those things I was saying? No wonder you wanted me to stop talking when I wasn't even talking about you, just talking about oppressors in against humanity in African churches, oppressors like pharaohs. No wonder you wanted me to keep quiet, to shut me up. Begging the job. Shame on all of you. Begging the judge to, to rule that I should no more talk. That they should they should cancel moment of truth. Taking several trips to YouTube office to pull down my channel. Why? Why are you feel why they say uh, a clear conscience fears no accusation? Why don't you want me to go? Is this what you were preventing? So that you call, a time will not come when I will start talking about your own general Basia too. Does it mean you know what he's doing? Because all of you are silent. Huh? I'm waiting for you. Your law so you go and get your lawyers ready. I want to meet you in court this time around. You see, that time you've had your way. I want to meet you this time around. Now I know who your pastor is. No wonder you were. No need to ask her. Moment of truth should be cancelled. They just should rule. If you say they were they don't need my money. Oh. You say they don't need my money. Yet I've gotten your letter and I should start paying your money. Maybe you say you didn't need my money. Why are you asking for the $50,000 now? You should be ashamed of yourselves. You should be ashamed of yourselves. That's okay. 
I'm sure you as a mother, you like what Dick Olukoya is doing to so children of God now, putting somebody's son, somebody's husband inside prison, Gesuke. You took me to court, you sued me. So what's your guy, your G Olukoya is doing now? It is right. These are attributes of a man of God. Are you people asking me now to come and pay that 50,000? And see me need 50,000. Why you know who your guy is? Yeah? No wonder you didn't want me to talk. You were afraid that one day I might come to your guy. I might if I come to the tone of your guy. You were so scared of me talking a moment of truth. Why? So is this what you were covering, trying to cover? Shame on all of you. Grace, okay, you as a woman swimming to court with your this girl cry with all that is doing. Shame on you for you to even call yourself a woman and a mother. Grace, okay, shame. Shame with all this. Shame on your guy, your pastor. Shame on you for defending him with all this. And you call yourself a woman. What kind of a woman are you? And then you're asking me, I should come and the car said and start paying 50,000. So that's what you're about. You don't know, you don't see what your guy is doing. Have you spoken about this unlawful arrest of, that, uh, of uh, Richard Ayo today? Yes, okay. Have you called your guy, Keolukoya, and warned him and tell him to stop what he's doing now? Or it doesn't mean anything to you, but you are quick to ask me for $50,000. Are you a woman? Are you a mother? No wonder. <laughs> no wonder. So this is what you people were trying to cover. You be sick. Let's come and tell American government what your guy is doing like a religious terrorist. I want to meet you guys in court. The videos, Richard and today said, just said that he forwarded. We want to analyze it in court. Bring it on. The whole world will be shocked. I went let on the day. I went let on. Hey, Moshe Kor. Liars. Who is this one? Who is this Tanya Equivin? What are you saying? Are you for the truth or you are against the truth? Let me know where you stay. Please define your existence. This Tanya Equivin, whom are you supporting? Let me know. Publish the video. Tanya Equivin, you are, you are a disgrace to your family. Tanya Equivin, what is your name? You are a disgrace to your family. That family, baby, you are a disgrace to that family. Shame on you. Oh, that's in school. Dude. So, until I post the video, the one you see that your guy is doing to Richard, it is good. Where do you stay? You are a disgrace to your family. You are a disgrace. Who is my sister? What's my sister's name? You are a disgrace to your family. You are a disgrace to, the, to anybody you represent. Daniel Ekwebinu. And God will judge you. For seeing evil and calling it good. But God's judgment fall upon you in the name of Jesus. Ekwebinu. For seeing evil and calling it good. May what the Bible says happen to those who see evil and call it good. May it, may it be your portion in the name of Jesus. You are a disgrace to the family you represent. Shame on you. You are bewitched. You are you have brain, you cannot use it. Oh my god, don't you mumu. You have brain, you cannot use it. Shame to the school that produced you. Shame to every to teacher they were shame to that family. I won't block him. I won't block. They've been sending these guys post to me. Saying a lot of things. Forbid a tool in the hands of wicked Dick Yolukoya. May you partake of his punishment in the name of Jesus. For supporting Dick Yolukoya in this evil, may you partake 
of his judgment and his punishment in the mighty name of Jesus. For seeing evil and calling it good, and then supporting that good and coming after me saying the truth. May you what happened to the child that you're today, may it be your portion in the name of Jesus. Follow all those who oppress God's children. May it follow you. Daniel Equebini, may it follow you in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Look at that soft friend, don't run, shake, we won't shake, Jeff. But I love how you call your soft coat, she shake, Jeff. So, Bami, but I love back coat, she shake, Jeff. Lenny, what is she shake, Jeff? You see, I've been keeping quiet for you. Look at that soft for you, I put what is she shake, Jeff, Lenny. I should post the evidence. Go and tell Oluko to post the evidence of the women he has been molesting in his office. And if he comes to court, I will release it in court. So keep post there. You see what he's doing to Richard? Keep post there. Come on, come on, disappear. Me, I'm not daft like you are. I have my brain and I use it. In that, in that society that doesn't respect rule of law, what has Richard done that they keep him in prison? So I should not bring the sexual victims out. Without any protection, without any safety, and then they start disappearing. Emi o emi o emi o ponu bi wa she ponu bi wa to get be she ponu emi o. Allo ofe mi lo kolo mo den. You want to jah o ponu? O ponu ala kama shishé. Toro luka ya mbo emi to wa. Abo o kolo bale fe o kolo mbo. O wa di UK o le lo fa ko e shishé. In fact, you see somebody came to me and said he wanted to take your matter with the UK government. I was begging that sister. I would tell them to go ahead. You guys explain yourself to UK government. I think you need to do that now. You will explain yourself to the UK government. How come you are supporting this kind of terrorism? Somebody molesting women, assaulting women, sexually assaulting women, and you come online every day to defend him. You will have to explain that to the UK government. If I believe you have reached that point now, and I'm going to take it up with you. Where are you I will not be able to defend you. You have reached that level. And it's not a threat. What I've just said to you is not a threat. I'm taking it up and I will report it to you. I want to my shame. They've been telling me about you and I've been begging them. I've been begging you that you don't know what you're about. But I see that for you to have that air country to come to my life program and support this evil. I'll give them the go ahead to do what they want to do with you, with the UK government. Shame on all of you. Yeah, it is great to your parents. You are Titani. So people, please just ignore that boy. Ignore him. Ignore him, please. He will be well taken care of. So that's where we are now. Okay? Richard is still in prison. Richard is still in prison. And if baby no, to tell you that I've done background check on you, you know where you were working before you were indicted? You were taken to court of your offense where the agency... To tell you, I know a lot about you. The agency where you were working for in UK, you had issues with them on your job. And you were taken to court. You see, you're on that part again. That was why I said they should leave you alone. Because when I heard your history, I don't want UK government to deport you. I'm not a wicked person. But with this now, I'll tell them to go ahead. She will not let Johnny court to tell you. I'm going to go to the court to tell you. I'm going to go to the court Abi, you didn't have court, a court case with the agency you worked for. Only got only a year, got it by the lane here. Got it by the lana. You can't share a fancy year, one or sha. You can't go and get a guy. You mean why you don't go and go for don't go and get a guy? I've been begging them. If somebody that didn't know me at all, that didn't know you at all, just seeing your comment on your post, called me. She was with the UK police. And with the law enforcement again, he said he wants to take your matter. And I was begging her. 
The front background check on you. You see the kind of people look at your uses. This guy has a case already with the UK government. It's not a look at I say, baby. No, I know the guy. It's not a look at I say, just a true innocent. Which child is still in prison. So that's where we are now. I know look at you see. It will be published on the rooftop. It will be published on the rooftop. You see what will come about you will be worse than T.B. Joshua. The whole world. You see, TB Joshua didn't shock anybody because already when TB Joshua was alive, a lot of people were talking about that he wasn't a man of God. Me as somebody, I wasn't sure. It's just that I was there. I cried watching TB Joshua's uh, documentary. I wasn't shocked. I wasn't surprised. But I cried at the level of um, wickedness done against humanity, especially against women. I mean, it's traumatizing. But you see, when the Kyoto has we come out, the whole world will be shocked. <laughs> they will be shocked. The whole world will be shocked. The whole world will be shocked. Those who are supporting him will be shocked. His pastors will be shocked. And my only concern, my only fear is, the effect it will have on Christianity, especially in Nigeria, especially on the youth that are coming up. That's the only concern I have. That's the only fear that I have. That's the only fear that I have. May God have mercy on his church in Jesus' name. So Richard is still there. We don't know when he will be released. It's not your people have been calling me to me. What's the when you when people are saying the instruction is from Abuja? That guy even gave us a good light. See, the, now that I'm talking to you, Richard lawyer, Richard's lawyer is working around the clock. I wish you could know the kind of opposi opposition. Is working against. I wish you know the kind of um, roadblocks he's meeting, but he's unrelenting. Thank God for a man like I didn't know Nigeria still has fought right people, people that have humanity at heart, people that are not corrupted by the system. I didn't know Nigeria still has somebody like Richard's lawyer. And may God bless him. And it's a, so if you are watching me, may God bless you, bless your household, bless your children. May your children find helpers wherever they turn to in Jesus' name. May the protection of God be upon you. As you have decided not to corrupt yourself with the things going on in the system, may God fight your battles for you too. The blessings that come to those who fight for the oppressed. May they overtake you, those blessings, may they overtake you and overwhelm your life in the name of Jesus. So shall this be in Jesus' name. So that's where we will end the program today. Please keep praying for Richard. Richard is still in prison. He's put in that prison because of Ulukoya. And I told you Richard's offense. Richard told Olukoya that he can no longer accept him as his father in the Lord because of the sexual assault on women going on in his office. Another of his offenses is that he refused to release his wife for corridor deliverance, being conducted by Dick Olukoya on women. If you see Richard, ask him why he doesn't want his wife to go for Richard <laughs> for corridor deliverance. Or you ask the wife, because the wife just said, you, I said something to you last week now. When she said because of what happened during the lockdown. If you see the wife, ask her what happened during the lockdown. And ask her, 
why she doesn't want to go for corridor deliverance they are in a better position to tell you me i told you the ones you need to know okay you see richard neither richard nor the wife has ever told you this you see that's why people like a baby no angry <laughs> you see Kwebin has never come to the bilateral but because he knows that i see your guy wanting to i see ray <laughs> you look at that push him outside they can no longer keep it you know you enjoy one lara Kwebinu, your father is the lord the they told him that they can't allow him to be the that the jew anymore that is sexually assaulting women that's why your father and the lord blocked richard if you don't know let me tell you again so let's eat it tea. It's in your tea, so talk. <laughs> eh? Why you find that in the law? Them flesh and they assault women. Oh, they find me a woman or see me. I'm here shady one lie. I'm going to talk to your father in the law. Because you're this guy, so they the social media. Please keep praying for Richard. Before we go today, I want to pray. Hey, baby, you come and listen to your father's voice notes. <laughs> in action. Baba told the police if we commit a crime. Come and hear your brother, Baba in action. Shameless child. Okay, can I ask one or two questions, ma'am? From me? Okay, yes, sir. Okay, please go ahead, sir. Are you alone or somebody is with you? It's my small girl that is in the house. Okay. Is there any way I've offended you? You? I've offended you? Yes, then you have offended me. Ah, then the why would you be saying that? Offended me? In what way? And because. Ah, uh, you have not. The police has made available to me your charge with you cash. I like this question by Mackay. Hey, what do you know? You know, she called it up prayers. Hey, baby, you Hey, what do you know? You know, she called it up prayers. Eh? Don't molest our old Billy. That's a question. Is it your father in the Lord? <laughs> She that you know she called it prayers. A what you know you know she back in on BL. Shameless boy. <laughs> your the police has made available to me your chats with Funke Ashiku. Me in chat with Funke Ashiku. Yes, sir. You chat with me. You will call them. You will call me Maradona. Ah. Uh -uh. My own life. This has made the chance available. You were you were asking for a video of Richard uh, blah 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 all those kind of things. Well, the the, the chat is available now. The police have made available. Ah, uh, that means uh, the bad is they hack my number. My man maybe my number has been hacked. Me? It was not hacked. Ah no, my number has been hacked. That the must be. Hacked, they, got, they got they got it from Richard's phone. Richard. Right? Richard, I don't even have Richard's phone. Okay. Hey, the, the, I mean, yeah, you don't have to chat for what they say, chat to you and I should. Yeah? When, when, yes. when will I do that? No. Well, it is there, it is there available. It's, it's technology, it doesn't tell life. Ah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe my phone is active. Let, 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 let me read you what you wrote. Ah. In case you have forgotten. Maybe my phone is active. No, your phone is not active. Let me read you what you wrote, you. So, so, so that you can know how to talk very well, because, uh, because I don't know what we have offended to that uh, you, you can be talking to those who are running that much now. Hey, baby, let me read what somebody, what somebody just sent to my inbox now about you. You see, I don't even know. So, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you you see, 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 you 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 see, I just got there. I just look at my face so that I have a message in my book. Look at it. Then a baby whose father died in MFM too. The grandmother was also frustrated in MFM and died there. But Daniel's mom is still in MFM. 
Daniel got married to a UK citizen and eventually become a pastor in UK. His first wife died. You see how people are giving me your downloads? So all these things happen to you. Inside that MFM, you are still supporting your lawyer. She won't go up on her Instead of you to, to think about your life, fix your life. Talk to God and ask God to fix your life for you. I'm not mocking you, but look at you. One fee, one out fee, one last year, one fee, show right here, see them. One bow, but you only call ya. Oh, look, I thought you signed it here, but they show whoever. Why don't you fight for your own life? If she thought you joined the Grand FM, Kenya, Fanny, don't she like here? Kenya, Fanny, see, I'm a FM, she like here, gone, gone, or think better, look, I am. You are here, come on, not even a silly job. Oh no, no, you eh? I'm sure it's because your wife is a UK citizen. That court case was a serious one. Since you have joined the MFM, how better has your life been than any baby? Can you tell us the testimony here? Daniel baby, you know? How can you give us the testimony here? Daniel baby, you know? Can you give us the Can you give us testimonies of what MFM has done in your life that is making you support to look for Because only Oto only saw. You see, they will tell him you look at your death with your daddy. Can you imagine? So what's wrong with you? I don't look at be with you. Not that bad, oh my bad, I think so. My show. Oh my show. I pity you. Look at what somebody is telling me about him now. You are saying they are lying. These things are they like that they be you know, is your father still alive in MFM? Did he die in MFM? Was your grandmother frustrated? Did you lose your wife in MFM? Is it true? Tell us the testimony. Me, I'm not mocking you. I just want to talk sense into because I don't know what is wrong with you. Why are you defending your look here? What has MFM country? What value has MFM added to your life since you joined? Kilo share. The way you are talking, you are talking like somebody that is bewitched, not in his right senses. And I pity you. You say I should go and ask Kemi Adetola. They say Kemi Adetola. See, I have it. The father, sister is auntie Kemi Adetola. You see, for you to even mention your auntie's name like that, oh, who are you? Then I could be no, Nila Yoba, only kill my beard, only quit while my lay no who. Kill all the ashes of Polly. Are you your right sense? Are you okay? Are you sick? Huh? You are calling your sister's name here on the online now. Then can you look at yourself? Okay. What has Olukoya contributed to your life? What has your auntie contributed to your life? What role has your auntie played in your life? Daniel, baby, no? What good? Compare the role your auntie has played in that your life. You yourself talking now. Can your auntie come in here to share any life for a tongue be share? Or they want to share? Then why so they want to share? Because what you share? Because what you call you not for That's how you can cry. We turn you against your family. You see? That's what it does. They will turn you against your family and start choosing your dead or the day. It's war and sorrow. That a baby look be I want to look called Jalo be the control pen ya yeo. For you to even mention your auntie's name yet, or show you one more ali. It shows you're not thinking right. Are you sick? Are you okay? Are you okay? You see, you sending me to a dead dollar fam. You see that oh, Rick Momo Alenia. You are not okay. Go and have your brain checked. I told in one kilo by a lot of in the last two years. A lot of country contribute in life. Where if I don't fail, you but only cut case. How much did she spend on you? How much did you spend on you? You want the own phone, own tired ideas in Tolu Koya. Oh, look, I don't sexually are more molest people. I want your socky load the kidney. Why are you defending Olukoya? What has Olukoya done in your life? What value has MFM added to your life? Hmm. Let me finish playing this voice note.
This is only for your sister. I can't hear you. Somebody just wants to know my name. Tell me that this is what you did wrong. I don't like that. I don't like this rule. Yeah. And then we'll sit down and sort it out. I'm not going to social media uh, to be commenting on. No, I'm not. A, I'm not a social media person like that, too. Okay? Uh, well, you get to the Just wait, man. Just wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, man. Yeah. And I want to speak sensitively. You see, you say I should go and ask her the fan. I want the taller family, and want you and in all ways. So, by she want the taller family, we want you and be to one day. Oh, look, I go read that. I want to talk by anyone in lobby. Oh, you pay one money, don't I want to shan't know. I share. I want those that's the taller you say I should go. They were there for you when nobody was there. If I see a web and you and you know, I want the taller and long by silly. Or you think I don't know your story? You see why I say you should go and fix your life. See your web and no any new. Shall I tell I call Roman with a man baby? Do you know how much money they have contributed into your life? Do you know how many times the other dollar has come up to save you from predicaments? So because of look why you are you are now selling your family outside. When you look why is no more. Oh my family hello, my baba. Oh my she oh my day she. I want to share. I want to tell her I want to and learn the document and everything you represent. You see, I want to tell her they are men of honor. Jiro e gon ko le jiro le gbe won. She ju e tan won bi ni lo sexual assault de. Ju e ton lo lopa. Ju e tan play voice note e. I want to tell her ni integrity. Ju e ni o ni integrity. O luko ya ni o ni integrity. I want to tell her to mention e. O beta o luko ya ba be e. Ni lo kome wa. Yes, yes, that's my name. Uh -huh. uh, please, my sister, based on your recent on your record, can you tell me your the specific video? Where the case of uh, Mr. Ayotu de Richard was discussed, how he almost lost his relationship and the one with his voice message. One of my sisters at the Prayer City Church discussed some happenings in the Prayer City with me, which prompted me to inform her of your program. I need those videos for her to watch for confirmation of some of the things you have been saying. I would like also to share subsequent programs with her. Now, say this our queue. Yeah. Ah, Emil, like you can. Emil, it's more. It's more. Oh, it's Hako. This number is Hako. Ah, ah, Morogo. Yes. This number is Hako. My number is Hak. No, 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 it's Lak. I will not be Laye Laye. Eh? Let me see Moshi. What program is your Sunday? Timoshi, eh? My brother, my lie. Ah, why will you be saying that, Daddy? The police to I don't that because I am not. My my lie is hacked. It's like you don't know me. My lie is hacked. Eh? Okay? I will not be saying that. Ah, eh? Hey, Jesus. Oh, no, do my to I I I I to I I to I I I we show the Timo every time. Timo, 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 Timo. What they just every time? Ah, eh, eh, eh. How that stand against itself cannot stand now. 
Eh? I, I wouldn't know. There was a day then somebody sent something to me. One of our friends uh, members sent something to me. Timo said, message. I almost fed now. Timo fed me. I know. Oh, I need to call. But what the heck is not bound me? Eh, eh, Mike. Go for a bit. Eh? Ah, ye mi mo logo. Mo lati lati mo lati change the eh mo lati lo lo report ni e o. O is not eh o mo bola nle. Eh bola nle. Some people call me o mo bola nle but I don't I don't use it because it's not in my it's not in my credential. Blue. Ah, the number? What's the number? I have to What's number? What's the 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 number? number? What's the number? What's the number? Mosu go mama eh why will I do that No 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 if I can if I will be uh, maybe may, maybe just people just think ah no 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 this is this is insanity no 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 I will I do that touch not my anointed eh I do my eh uh, no 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 I will lie, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Go for bid, though. What is a man of God? You go to Langbe, ma? Eh, can you, eh, can you Langbe? Eh, you play a city? Eh, eh, you know, ni, what's a point of play, you play a city? Eh, you play a city, ni, eh, Langbe? What's a point of play, you play a city? Ah, I want to, I want to, I want to, mommy, no, she share you. Eh, 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 Kino no to she. Ah, mo rogo. Eh? Kino no to to I know you Ah, ah, you are too, you are too, you are too much to me to do this. So, for me to, no, 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 Olukoya, shame on you. You see how you are threatening a married woman? Somebody's wife? I follow up by his shabby affiche. So follow up by Shayini. Any little thing you are calling police. And you know Nigeria police, what they stand for, what they represent. Why are you using police to terrorize your member? Anyway, you are not a man, 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 how can you be terrorizing a woman like this? Bullying her? For what? Number one, you broke into a private chat. That's a crime. Baba, we told some other person who paid their salary. So the the poor Nigerian police, they didn't see all that you are doing. Is Nigerian system completely a failure? Is this what it's all about? So there is no respect for any rule of law. That's how a judge gave all that. That you should release Richard. Release Richard. You never obey. So Nigerian police are sued to kill Luka. Haven't you been hearing this voice note? Is this voice note not all shades of crime? Of course, he said he used you to commit the crime. So I won't be surprised if you are now suing on behalf of Olukoya. And it's a shame. Please, I think it. Let me thank the IG. Me have thank people tired. Nobody's. <laughs> But the police say police, so they refuse to see this or they are the one taking Richard to come when he didn't even commit the offense they are accusing him of. And then Mr. Pesai, the Aji Mr. Pesai doesn't know Richard. So why are you keeping him in prison? That he and Aji Mr. Pesai could not to defend Moluka. Why is the defamation in all this? And then all this, that guy, what's the important is, is it not the truth? Eh? Did you look here? You know, you say I should prove You see this evidence that I have. I will keep on posting it. You should matter, but I know it's spending your gas serious in sent here. You tell me it's an old video. This video, this voice, it is evergreen. You know? 
This is the concrete evidence the world has against Olukwaya. You see this video, this verse note, it represents everything Olukwaya stands for as a religious terrorist, bullying women, running MFN like a cult, using Nigerian police to run to perpetrate crime. You see, everything is on a power could it be warning. We are intelligent people here. You see this year, you say, you say I should not pay. I will keep on paying. You see, that's what like somebody said. Sister Funke, please, from now on, this voice will be our first message before the day business. Those are intelligence people talking, Daniel. They know the importance of this voice. Only what it could be in the hotel, more or from wrong. That's why your wife beats you all the time at home. Eh? What is your wish? A man do it and let a man soon come in. Oh, to be right, she let to be a wife sister. Eh? Oh, Lauren, you know. You want to cut your way and do she let in only. I was busy on social media. I'm a bully child. I'm bully. 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 i am bully 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 i and we are so cool. My grandma, my grandma, my bed, coffee, and silly. Why was it be one so? I mean, the first or us. You were told a man to roam. You that you cannot control that your wife beats you. I mean, the wife is all of us. It's going to take care of your home first. Yes, yeah, so his wife will beat him tonight. Oh, yes. Why did I wear my man? I like this. If you've done that, I tell you, why are you not in Mana Water? Why are you here? Why did you join Mana Water? <laughs> they say your wife will beat you tonight. They pray for you. But it's that wrong. <laughs> Is it truth? You know I'm saying the truth. You want me to bring evidence. You know how many times your wife beats you. Don't mind who is she is. I think I don't know you. <laughs> Why did I spot you where you commented? I've known you for long. You see, it's because I know you. That's why I didn't allow that police uh, or got to, to write petition against you. She found, if I look into my name, I will see that chat. She forwarded your, you will post something on your page. Me, I think I blocked you or you blocked. I don't know who blocked each other. But me, I don't see your post. But if that woman sent your post to me, I said, do you know this person? When I looked at it, I said, I know you. He said, because he wanted, she wanted to take your matter off. She works with the law enforcement agency in the UK. She's a citizen. A minimal bear, because I know people who are, I know your family member. And I just told her, I want to go here, I want to buy here. I want to see you, I want to learn back. I'm sorry, I did tell her. You want to learn back, I did tell her, I want to buy here. I want to let on boy. I want to let on bear. I see no how much I did to let wire to you in UK last year. I know how much she wired to you to your account. Bring your account, print your account in the last five years. You want one person to buy? I want to let. I will man put it here where man knowing. Because I want to let. I know you hold the marriage together. You want one be one boom. You say I should let her take it up. Me, I'm not like I'm not a wicked person. When we're in most I was just bad. I can't allow somebody to to finish you like that. Want to deport it? We thought that has happened in your life, and for you to be deported again, you that had the case in court. Me, I'm not a wicked woman. But boy, yeah, I just said it in anger. I can't do it. Even if I wanted to do it because of their dollars, I won't do it because you are related to them. They are very nice people. I can't take. I can't allow anybody to do evil in UK. Even if I don't know that they don't Amy on Sherry G. I don't do wickedness. Amy on Shaker. That's how I was brought up. I don't do wicked. You speak, I don't know what to do to all these people that your Jew. Not only you. You see all the people your Jew has been raising up to fight me. Even what I mean, you think I don't know what to do? Ah, I can do plenty things. So I'm in America. I can do plenty things. I can. But we are shaker. I'm a Christian. In Christianity, Jesus taught us to love, to forgive everybody. 
I won't say because you are speaking against me on online. I will not ask the person to finish in you can you be deported. But no, I don't do that. I'm a Christian. And more so, you are related to the Adetolans. The Adetolans are special people. They are nice people. They are Christians. I don't joke with the Adetolans. I've known them for long. The Adetolans, they were at my wedding. I've known them for long before I got married. We were in the choir together at the headquarters before they came, became US citizens. They've been in the US now for over 20 years. I want worry as citizens. They came in with their green cards. So I've known them. They were at my wedding. That sister Adetola led the praise worship on my wedding day. Let me tell you a story. You see that sister Adetola? She led the praise worship on my wedding day. She was my big sister in the choir. On my wedding day, you know, FM members are not givers, but she gave me gifts and I was shocked. I can count how many <laughs> to be wedding gifts. They don't give me, maybe they don't have, I don't know, but they are not givers. But because that sister gave me, ah, it meant so much to me till today. She gave me a very special gift. And she was the only one in that choir that presented me a wedding gift on my wedding day. I guess so, yeah. Before she moved, in fact, it was that year she moved to the US. So you see, I've known that they dollars. So. so if I tell you that they dollars, uh, there are people of integrity, I know what I'm talking about. I met them here in the USA and they have never done anything for me to doubt them. You too, you know that your auntie is a very nice person, has a very good aunt. She has come in for you. So she has stood in for you in so many ways. She has come in, even when your mother left you, when your mother fought you, ignored you. And they told her stood by you. She said, Baron, you are king, she family, one one CB on Puan, and they told her, if I see, yeah, go on to she back on back on CT, yeah, and better. And they told her stood by you. She would, like a mother, she stood with you. She was always defending you. Oh, but you told her to not see her lorry. From here in the US, she'll be sending dollars to offset your bill in the UK. If you are in trouble, she will send it. Even your papers, you know how many thousands she sent to you? You want one one CB by one boy, they told her to do Olukoya. Who is Olukoya? That man, the one that is sexually molesting women, the one using police to commit crime, he had no support. Your family will always be there for you. Family is everything. And that's the mistake a lot of these Pentecostal church. They make you, they turn you against your family. But when, no, it's not only in MFA. I've been to the churches too. They will tell you, they say, no, family, don't do anything. Well, but when there is trouble, it's that family that will come out for you. One of the churches I was, even on the way, they will be telling the mother, Lord, from now on, don't go to their house, so don't do this. But in compassion, the family, you know, my Lord, be one back. When they grow old and they fall sick, it is that family that will take them up. Now, you are abusing the Adetolas that have been there for you all through these years. Even when your wife beats you, that's marriage is the Adetolas that are still keeping it together. Oh, my God, but you are a man who is 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 a man Oh, sorrow, log one now. Be <laughs> eh? I think I'm actually do any. Why, 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 sorry, I did tell her. Then, anyway, go wrong by it anyway. And I did tell her, don't, don't, tell her, don't, 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 eh? Go down and talk to yourself. Sit down and talk to yourself. In what you want to say, you will see it later on. Even yes, so about this, you see it later on. Eh? May God have mercy upon you. I know it's trying to distract me. I say what I want to say. You see, you say I should not be playing your father's voice. He's paining you. This voice, no, mama, tell me, but you need to be more because this story voice no exposes who Olukoya is in all his gory states. <laughs> you see how those those fuckers, uh, fuckers on the other. Mm -hmm. You go, shout hallelujah. And then, Mm, they are all like, you see this one, God, this voice, so this is Olukoya. This is his signature. So I keep on posting my tab, but you see, I'm not sure money. Pa, 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 right. So, yeah, I don't, yeah, you ain't seen nothing yet. I keep on playing. I tell you, I got to release Richard. 
Asa fun ba be ko si ko fi di charge de le mo ko fi le mo lohun. Pe ni yawo won se corridor se yawo wa nbe. Eyan ni yawo won se corridor player. It's too much. It's not here today. Is that skip pay for Richard? Also, don't forget me prayer. I convert your prayers. <laughs> I really convert your prayers. Pray for me. Be more importantly, pray for Richard. Okay, that God should release Richard from the dungeon where the the powerful people of this world, the principalities and powers of this world are put in. That God will fight for him. Yeah, he will fight for him. Yes, yeah, so. God will fight for him and divide, and we contend with all those who are contending with him and disgrace the enemy in Jesus' name. Don't mind the question. Say I should post the sexual assault. Do you want to watch pornography? Eh? Yeah, you're like your baba. So I should post pornography for you to watch. <laughs> this one is enough evidence. Eh? Kill of sexual assault. You see that your mind is put there. You want to watch women nude pictures of you. It's me that will give you that one. I'm going to go punk. So you want to watch that one? Why? Why are you? Daniel, why are you interested in seeing the sexual videos of other women? Don't you have your wife at home? And no, the real joke. He only came out post the sexual video of that one. So then we pawn. But I pray what he buy then can can only. Only walk. We don't mind if it's only walk. I should post it so that your baba will see something now to put down my page. Abby, they will say I'm posting it. You want to watch points on me for me, you watch it. So that's where we will end the program today. If I see anything, I don't want to say till next today. If I see anything that I need to come up with, I know the lawyer is doing a lot of things. If there's any news to tell you, be sure. I told you until Richard is until Richard is out of that prison, I'll keep on posting his updates. If I need to come on during not a regular time, be sure I will do that. But more importantly, please pray. Please pray. Pray for Richard. He needs our prayers. It's not easy. He has spent 16 days in prison. And you know, Richard is very light in complexion. I knew in um in the Kega, they said, the wife said, all this body, bed box, you know, when somebody that is light, now that they are not, they are not putting him in prison proper, well, it is well, it is well, God is seeing everything. I know from that prison, it will be from prison to glory in Jesus' name, to elevation to his promotion. The Lord will promote him. The enemy think they will stop Richard, but they won't stop him in Jesus' name. No. That prison, from that prison, he went into the next step, his promotion, his elevation. What the enemy meant to destroy him, God will use it for his elevation in Jesus' name. So please remember Richard in your prayers. And we decree and declare that Richard shall not die, but live to declare the works of God in Jesus' name. Thank you all for listening to me today. I really appreciate you. Till next time when we meet, by the grace of God, Keep praying, keep praising. Don't let all these things discourage you. Christianity is real, God is real, Jesus is real. Yes. There are some things I may not know. There are some things I may not know. But this one thing I am so sure my God is real, for I can feel him in my soul. My God is real, real in my soul. My God is real, for he has placed and made me whole his love for me is like pure gold my god is real for i can feel him in my heart 
My God is real, will lead my soul. My God is real, for he has placed and made me whole. His love for me is like pure gold. My God is real, for I can feel Him in my soul. God bless you all. Shalom. Mm-hmm.